hello 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 welcome to my channel my name is wolo if this is the first time you are seeing my videos i actually want to say thank you and also request that you um click the subscribe button the notification bell and then anytime i upload my videos you'll be the first person to know that i have uploaded a video and i love to share information about life in canada immigrating to canada and everything useful and in my last video, I talked about shopping in Canada and um, I introduced an app called the Shop Top 5 app, which is a very good app. It's a price comparison app that um, will help you save money where you need it. So if you want to buy something instead of moving from one shop to another to another or looking for flyers, you can actually just download the app on your phone. There are, the app is for Android users and iPhone users. You can download the app on your phone and you'll be able to see the price of an item in different shops um, in the app. And the app developer is actually working towards increasing the coverage to different countries in the world. For now, it's limited to Canada, but the app developer is working towards expanding it. Today's video is about self-employed um, people who plan to immigrate to Canada. So when I mean self-employed people, I'm talking about actors, actresses, comedian, sports people, a lot of occupations that fall under this category. They also can actually immigrate to Canada under the self-employed category and um, become permanent residents of Canada. The self-employed pathway of immigrating to Canada used to have the investors um, pathway and the entrepreneur pathway, but the investors pathway and the entrepreneur pathway has now been closed. There also used to be the farm, uh, yeah, the farm managers category, which was under self-employment, but it has now been I wouldn't say terminated. I'll use the word post. Yeah. So what is left now is for people who are in the cultural um, occupation and people who are athletes. Yeah. So if you know anybody whose occupation is into cultural activities who is also an athlete then this video is for this person um, if you are the one you can also watch this video and use it as a means to immigrate to canada uh, under the self-employed category instead of um, using the federal express entry the provincial nomination or the other categories so this video is basically for people who are self-employed whose occupations are um, musicians writers others comedians actors, actresses, um, musical instrumentalists, video, hold on, video game artists, um, comedian, have I mentioned comedian? Comedian, that's one for people who participate in cultural activities at a world-class level. Then the second category of um, people are people who are sportsmen. So if you know any sports person who has been participating at a world-class level, participating in sports events, like athletes, like football, like basketball, swimming, um, anything sports, anything sports related, either sports or cultural activities. These are the two group, group of people that fall under the self-employed category. So if you know anybody who plans to immigrate to Canada and the person is a musician and the person has been going on world tours, the person has, um, worked independently um the person has his own record label or the person is the independent what the visa officers will want to evaluate are if you are able to sustain yourself if you eventually immigrate to canada as let's say a musician so i'll give a typical example let's say whiskey and david o okay david o is actually um an american citizen so he will not need to immigrate to canada but for somebody like whiskey if he wants to get um, a PR in Canada, if he wants to become a permanent resident in Canada, Whiskey is a candidate for this kind of um, self-employed category. And the process actually takes about 21 months um, after application. And it's not like the normal express entry where you have to fill everything online. It's a paper-based application. I will show you shortly on the website um, how the application process is done and the forms that will being filled before you can send them to Sydney, Nova Scotia. And um, yeah, so basically anybody who is culturally inclined or any person who is a sports person and has participated in events in a world-class level, if you claim to be a musician on a local level and you've been sustaining yourself, 
it will be very difficult to prove to the visa officers that you can actually sustain yourself when you eventually immigrate to Canada. So for people who are who are culturally inclined, who have acted movies, international movies, and uh, people who have written books, yeah, if you're a writer, if, be, if you've been writing for, let's say, BBC, if you are also a journalist, an independent journalist or a reporter, yeah, if you're a reporter, an independent reporter, let's say you are reporting for CNN, you're reporting for BBC and you're based in Nigeria or Kenya, and you just maybe sign a contract with this with these bodies, but you are working for yourself. You can demonstrate that your income is from what you do, then you are eligible to apply under this category. Um, the onus is for you to prove that you can actually sustain yourself by the time you eventually immigrate to Canada. So I'll give an example again for, for a comedian. You know, all these comedians, they go around the world to um, do comedy jokes and all that. So for a comedian, if you're able to show extensive proof and demonstrate that you can actually sustain yourself from your comedy in Canada by, let's say, going to comedy clubs, going to shows and all that. If you can show extensive proof and you have a portfolio of all the things you have done to sustain yourself, then you are eligible to apply for a permanent residence in Canada. So there are actually lots of occupations under this um, category which people are not exploiting. That's because people are not aware. But I am letting you know now that if you know anybody who has his, these experiences, who has been self-employed, has been sustaining himself. I'm not talking about people who are working part-time. I'm not talking about people who say, oh, I, I'm a musician, but I have, I am employed somewhere. No, I'm talking about people who are sustaining themselves as self-employed people under this category of cultural activity or sports activity. Either of these two activities, as long as you can be able to show a portfolio of things you have done, you can show um, that your income is from what you have been doing and you have at least two years experience two years is the minimum then you can go ahead and apply i will also talk about the requirements here and what gives points and for this group of people if the person has an education the person has a first degree second degree or a master's degree or a phd if the person has a phd the person gets um, about the highest point which is 25 points if the person has been self-employed for the past five years the person has the highest point. So if the person has been a musician for the past five years, for the past seven years, if the person has been an actress or an actor for the past five years, for the past seven years, then the person can go ahead and apply. Um, and for age as well, the age requirement is not like express entry where you begin to lose points when you turn 30 years. For the age requirement, it falls between 21 to 49. And if you are between 21 to 49, you have the highest point in this category. Then for language, you have to write IELTS, the TCF or the TEF or CELPIP. So it's not something that you can run away from. The person has to write these exams to test the lang person's language ability. Then for adaptability, if the person has a relative living in Canada, either a sibling, it also adds to the person's points. So it is not an online application. It's a paper-based application where the person has to, you know, gather all the documents and also gather his portfolio, a portfolio of the things that he or she has done. Um, um, even contract documents that the person must have signed. You know, when I mean contract, if the person is an independent artist and has signed a contract with, let's say, another global company or whatever as long as the person is an independent artist the person can also use that document to show extensive proof that he or she can sustain himself if he eventually um, immigrates to canada as a self-employed person if you know anybody whose occupation falls under this category you can tell the person to take advantage of this opportunity to apply to become a permanent resident in Canada. So this is the Government of Canada webpage and when you scroll down you click on self-employed. On the self-employed page you will see um, details about the process and the fees for application is 1540. The processing time is 21 months. Um, sometimes it could be longer than that. 
and then if you click on who can apply you can find the information there which says your experience is relevant if you have taken part in cultural activities or athletics at a world-class level or being a self-employed person in cultural activities or athletics if you have the time go through it and read the selection criteria and everything that you need to know the next one is how to apply when you click on how to apply you click on get the application package it will take you to this page and then click on application package again this is where you find all the forms that you will have to fill concerning being a self-employed person and if you're applying for the federal self-employed class applications you must submit your application to the centralized intake office tio in sydney nova scotia so this is very important if you are going to apply as a self-employed person this is where you have to get all the forms that you will fill and it's a paper-based application which you have to send to um, Sydney Nova Scotia it's not it's not like express entry where you have to upload your documents online and send it so you have to send it by mail to Nova Scotia um, for the immigration also note that you will be required to give biometrics um, after you apply and you will require to take medicals as well so take note of these things when you want to apply and for more information you can come to this website and see the details I'll be leaving the link of this website on the description box of this video thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye